Hiya, so today I'm going to talk to you about hair dyes and obviously I want to talk to you about the Avon hair dye. This is the colour I go and as you can probably tell by my roots, there we are, that lets you see a bit better. I desperately need to do my hair, I mean look at that growth there. Obviously, it's been over a month since I've dyed my hair, so there is a little bit of fade going on. But for the last two months, I have been using this hair dye, and it is absolutely brilliant. It is very different from any hair dye that I've used before. And I got it in the January sale brochure at £3.50. So that's really great. But what I'm going to be doing is comparing it packaging wise and sort of thing for you against this one, which is the one I used to use before. Now, I only ever used to buy this when I could get it on two for ten in Superdrug um, because basically it's a little bit expensive. So this is around £3.50, £5 a box, depends on when you buy it. And this is normally about the £7 mark a box or the 2 for 10. So they are the closest shades of ginger that I could find. This always came out darker on my skin, on my hair even, and it wasn't really always that kind to my scalp. So first off, I'm going to talk to you about this one. This one has a blend of three tones and highlights in it. You can get it in almost any drugstore. It's a very battered box. I'm very sorry. It's in the back of my cupboard. And it has a colour cream, a colour activator and a conditioner in it. And it's meant to cover 100% of greys and gentle on hair and scalp. Now, as someone who has used this frequently, not gentle on hair or scalp. It says it is and it just isn't. So I have your instructions here and we get our loose pack of gloves and this here is the colour activator in this tube here and this is the colour cream so what you do is you empty this into here give it a good old shake and dye your hair with that and then this is the conditioner i don't particularly like this conditioner i don't really think it does anything for your hair um, last time i dyed my hair with this hair dye i didn't use the conditioner didn't make a difference so if you don't like the smell or you don't like the hair dye conditioners i really wouldn't bother it's not a but if you're going to pick one up in the drugstore today it is a really good hair dye i wouldn't you know not buy it but it's definitely not that kind on the scalp so this one i bought this month and last month so in december and i dyed my hair with it at the beginning of December and now it's the end of January so I'm well overdue um, and this one's slightly different because this has a pre-treatment in it which I was a bit like do I even bother with the pre-treatment I'm not sure it's something I want to do and actually it did make all the difference so this one it protects before during and after color coloring perfect gray coverage for long lasting colour apparently. Uh, there's loads of different shades available in this. My mum has the blonde one but I always go ginger. So if I open this box up you'll see seal the top there. We have our instructions and if you fold your instructions out you can see that the gloves are actually inside the instructions which is good and aren't as good as normal gloves in hair dye though so if you do want to buy a box of gloves then do they are a bit better so this here is your pre-treatment and you put this on before you dye your hair then we have our 
developer and our colour cream that's the developer up close and then finally we have our post treatment um, the thing with this hair dye is, is I obviously have very long hair if you can see I would need two boxes of this dye if I am careful with this dye um, so I careful with my roots and all the way through especially if I dye my hair more frequently I can actually get away with just one box for the whole of my head um, but that is if you're careful but if you are short to medium hair one box would actually be okay which is slightly different these are great it doesn't hurt my scalp which is amazing um, even when because sometimes you do the patch test and you still have a problem don't you but I didn't with this one it doesn't I mean it does have a strong smell but not as strong as the nice and easy but what I will say about this hair dye is having done it with the post and the after uh, the pre and post treatment and doing it without it is definitely worth doing it with both of both of these and the other thing that I suggest with any hair dye is the first wash after you've dyed your hair always use a hair mask always helps with just any little dryness that's seeping in but basically price wise and sensitivity wise and performance I'd go for this dye if nothing else because it's £3.50 and my red in my hair lasted twice as long as it did with this one so if you're after a new hair dye and you want something cheap cheerful will go a long way will work great for sensitive scalps then do go for your Avon hair dye I'm going to try and link where to buy it below in the description um first time so we'll see if it works if not just pop on over to the Avon website find your local rep and buy yours today because honestly you won't regret it bye bye